All right, it's time to get to tracking. There are multiple programs out there that allow you to track, motion track, I should say. One of them would be Anderson Technologies Synthize, and this is a good program. I actually own this product. It cost about $500 retail. Folks over at Pixel Farm make a product called PF Track, another good product. I've used it before. This one runs $1,600. And finally, for those of you who are not on a budget, there's one made by Vicon called Buju, and this one runs about $10,000. Now, they basically all do the same thing. Very similar results. But we've got something even better. We are going to use the 3D tracker that is built into After Effects. Now, this is in CS6 or later versions. It has its own 3D tracker built in, and it's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and double click here, go in, grab my runway render footage, and import that. I'm going to drag that into the Create New Comp, and we have our footage here. Zoom out on that so we can see it. You can scroll through or scrub through there. All right, so that's what we're working with. Now, look how easy this is. I'm going to right-click here. I'm going to say Track Camera, and it's going to start. So it's going to go through this process. It takes a couple minutes. It's analyzing it in the background, and then there'll be another step where it actually creates a camera. And you can see right here, it's going through the frames. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when this is done, because you don't need to watch all this. Okay, so we're back, and we have our tracked footage. And if I just scrub through here, you can see we have all of these X's here, and they are all sticking to the ground, which is exactly what should be happening. Because what we're going to do is we're going to attach our objects to these tracking points. I'm going to come over here, and this is about where we want our plane to be. I'm going to drag and select several of these, and I'm going to right-click, and I want to select Set Ground Plane and Origin. So this is really important, what we just did. We created an origin point, basically a 0, 0, 0 point that we can use from our Cinema 4D files. This is new. Basically, if you have a Cinema 4D file, you can drop that in there, and it's going to snap to this point right here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Go over here and grab my crate.c4d. We'll import that. And before I drag that into the comp, I also need to create a camera. So let me right-click here, and I'm going to create several nulls and cameras. Now let me go ahead and take this crate, drag this into the comp, we'll give it a second, and we can see that this is the crate, but it's not snapped to the point yet, or the points that we selected, the origin, which was right here. But if we come over here and we say, use the comp camera, and if we go back out, let's go way back out, and also let me change this from software, actually current shading to box, Thing is moving a little quicker. Actually, let's just go back. Let's change this back to current shading. And let's go back into the actual Cinema 4D file so I can kind of show that to you. We go to Edit, and then Edit Original. Let's go into our crate. Scale this down. Save it. Let's go back into our scene. And then that updates properly. And you can see that it snapped to the point that we selected, the 000 origin. So that's really powerful. Really, really powerful. Okay, but the crate's not what we need for this exercise. We're just going to go ahead and delete that. And we'll delete it out of the project here. And I'm going to click on the runway footage and select the camera tracker so that we have our points again. I may select just a few more of these points just so that we have a few more places to attach elements later. So I may select a few of these, right click, create two nulls, drag select over on these, right click, create nulls. So now we have our nulls here. Maybe create a few more over here and create null. Let's create a few laying on the ground, too. Just make sure my target is flat. 
There we go. Let's create null. Back here, create a null. And maybe just one more. We can get another flat one. Maybe we should back up a little bit. Just get the best you can. There we go. Let's create a null there. All right. So you'll notice down here, we have all of our nulls. We have our 3D camera that is basically the virtual camera that is simulating the real camera that was used on this airplane. And let's just do one last thing here. Let's go ahead and select this again. Let's create some text that we can actually take a look at here. Zoom in here a little bit better. Sometimes it can be tricky to get this thing lined up exactly the way you want it. Let's say that that's good. Create text. Let's go ahead and change this to test. Shift S for scale. Take that down to 200. And then we'll bring that up 90 degrees in the X. There we go. Just go over here and we will do a RAM preview. Pull this down. Let's take a look and see if we've got everything tracked properly. Looks as though we do. The test is working out. Looks like it's sticking to the ground. It's pretty cool. Almost done. There we go. So we have effectively tracked, 3D tracked, the footage attached a 2D element, and everything seems to be working properly. And it was all done in After Effects. No third-party plugins. No additional money. That's always good. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next part in the next movie.